My name is Amber Delight Beck, also known as Perky, which was my first nickname given to me as a baby. From my ma and my pa, can I get a hello? Alright, this tutorial is going to be done here in this bathroom, in this tub. I'm going to show you how to use a razor. This one has six blades! Six blades for shaving. And while we're at it, we're not just going to shave our legs. We're going to take in and shave our pits, too, because you know we need it. <laughs> All right, if you're ready, so am I. Let's go. I'm so excited. Let's see you on the other side. Okay, so I made it into the tub just like a good girl should, right? And uh, I've got my razor, and I've got my shaving cream, which you can buy this at the dollar store. Hey, yeah, I am wearing clothes in the tub. You didn't think I was gonna do this naked now, did you? That's not me, guys. Come on now. Cut me some slack. Give me a little credit. Man. All right, so when I shave my legs, I don't shave all the way up. And why is that? Why would you shave somewhere that doesn't grow hair? I just don't grow hair there. So I'll show you like to here, right? Right where this line is, right here. And I'm gonna start. Okay. <laughs> well, first we gotta shake this sucker up. Oh, I love to bathe at night and turn this thing on. But we have to have lights for video, so. And this is part of the serious process of everything. Shaking the cat. Shake it till you can't shake no more. And then keep on shaking. All right, here we go. <laughs> Is that enough? I think it's enough. Let's see. <laughs> All right. We're going to slather it on there like the wheel, like mayonnaise on my sandwich. <laughs> and see, because I'm wearing these shorts, I know right where I'm going to stop. I'm going to get these knuckles. See this? Knuckles. And a bridge of my foot. Alright, there we go. Alright. Now, what I love about having shaving cream uh, on my legs is it will show me where my lines are for guiding. I refer to it as the leg. Can you see the leg? Here we go. We're going to start. Ooh, right over the mole. See that? That was a mole hill. <laughs> because it has six blades, I'm feeling pretty confident that this is catching all but stubble because it's like going over it six times. Don't worry, I do this all the time, so actually I don't have to feel too confident. I know that it feels good. Right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Clean up on aisle five, Bob. There we go. All right, now I need to get this toe. See the toe? I get knuckle hairs all over my toes. I've just done this so much I can go pretty quick. And I make sure I get the bridge because for some reason, I don't know why, but I keep on getting hairs on the bridge of my feet as well. There we go. So leggy number one, done. Alright, <laughs> other side, time to shake it some more. Alright, here we go. You think that's enough? Okay, guys, this isn't really all that easy to pull my leg up like this and hold it up like that. But I need to exercise and the calorie count and the strength resistance. <laughs> Alright. Now if I start bleeding, don't panic. It happens. Who's getting that knuckle? This one. Just for safety precaution, let's make sure we shave all of the knuckles. There we go. Did you see that? And I'm pretty sure it's shaped. Good enough. 
So I said we're going to shave our pits too. And I know this is crazy, but I love to put this stuff on my pits first because every day when you apply deodorant and stuff, it makes um, it, you end up having leftover debris. So I wanted to show you this goofy stuff anyways. It's pretty cool. Um, it's Garnier Clean. It's face wash. It's an invigorating daily scrub, but it has a lot of, um, well, it has Jehovah beads and peppermint, which is great for exfoliation. Yeah, that's the word. That's a big word for me, guys. That could be hard. I hurt a little bit. So I put, put this stuff on my pits. Ow, my brain. On both sides. And because there's peppermint in it, it feels so cold and cool. It feels great. And I know I'm getting that extra debris and all that junk off, so that's good. And the cool thing is, is it feels really minty. And when you shave, because you're shaving that extra layers, like all those skin layers off the dead skin, so that cold peppermint also reaches the under skin layers, like the under the debris layers. And so it just feels superb. We've shaken this can quite a few times, don't you think? But we need more. <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> I hope so. This is so much fun. You see that? <sighs> Wee! All right! Got it. All right! Lots of roller coasting hills to go over. <laughs> Now when I do this, I like to watch what I'm doing. So I'm like, like, it hurts my eyeballs to look that hard in that direction. But I do it anyways, because I don't want to miss one hair, because what's the point of wearing like a tank top or a sleeveless shirt if you got stubble hanging out and people are gonna make fun of you? I mean, we already have plenty of reasons to be made fun of them. Why have more, right? Done with that. Time to rinse off. Oh yeah, I feel that nice cold sensation. When I do a face cleansing, I like to take feminine wipes or baby wipes or whatever. I rinse off the baby wipes. And the reason I do that versus a washcloth is um, so many times that you cycle um, a washcloth through your laundry, it oftentimes will keep bacteria in it. There's been times I've used clean washcloths sitting out, you know, on the caddies or whatever, at different places, different homes, motels, and um, the bacteria will create like blisters on my skin and stuff. So I don't trust washcloths, even if you have a nice washer and dryer. I trust like whatever kind of baby wipe or whatever, and that you can put it in the hot water, it'll rinse off so you're not getting like the whatever alcohol or witch hazel or whatever that they put on it for the purpose it's used for. You don't want to use Clorox wipes, that wouldn't be good. But you know, something that's meant for skin, so if it's meant for, you know, feminine areas or if it's meant for your face or if it's a baby wipe or whatever, you can rinse that stuff out and just have plain hot water. And then you place it on your face and keep it there that opens up your pores. Once you do that, hot water is the one thing that I found that does the best at cleaning pores and opening up the pores. The next thing though is it's really fun to clean your face with something like this. It's really nice to clean your face with it. It leaves that awesome sensation, cooling sensation that tingles and stuff. Um, but because it does have the beads in it and exfoliation in it, it will dry my skin out and so it is important that when you strip your skin of its natural oils especially on your face that you replace it with some kind of moisturizer especially a kind that's really good for your skin that's not going to cause breaking breaking out or or clog your pores or something so you know it's important to do your investigation and your homework to see what kind of products work for you because each face is different each skin type is different so I just wanted to bring that up because I think that that's going to be a topic for a future tutorial, but something to think about, just kind of a, a little tip for now that you can start using if you would like. Um, it's what I do. And um, 
I think it's been very helpful throughout my years. So all those years, can I get a hello? And backwards in slow motion. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Perky Beck Show. I'm Amber Dwight Beck, known as Perky Beck, and I hope to see you again. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up, you guys, come on. And then push subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> All right, we'll see you again soon. Tune in on the next video we have coming out. Take care.